Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mohammed, a developer of Breeze Home 4.0. The product owner of Breeze Home is Dr. Masood Sajadi, professor at FIU. The mentor for Breeze Home is Aaron Fang, research assistant at FIU. This video will cover the scrum process of creating and implementing user story 2352, adding a school's API to the Breeze Home system. So let's get started. The first thing that was done was creating the user story in Mingo. All of the user story creation and management for Breeze Home is done on Mingo. So as you can see here, we have the user story 2352 add schools API. The description of the user story is as a developer, I want to add a schools API to Breeze Home in order to create new functions that provide information about schools to the users. The acceptance criteria is learn how to use the Breeze Home API, find schools data, and add a schools database to the Breeze Home system. If we scroll down, we can see that the status is marked as done because I have fully completed the implementation of this user story. We also have priority, which was set as must. Points for the story was set to 50 and the owner of the story was me, Alexander Mohammed. Once the user story was created, a message was sent to the product owner, Dr. Masood Sajadi, and after he reviewed and accepted the user story, he gave the okay to begin development. The first step that needed to be tackled was finding schools data. After some research, I came across Great Schools, a web-based REST service that provides information on 200,000 schools, along with over a million reviews and ratings from parents, students, and teachers. I had to register for access to the API so I could receive an API key to begin retrieving data. About a week after, Great Schools sent me an API key so I could access their API. During the week I was waiting, I was reviewing the GET request structure and parameters as well as sample requests to better understand the type of response I would receive. So once I had access to the API, I requested schools data from South Florida and was returned with an XML file with a ton of schools information. I used Postman a Google Chrome extension in order to download the XML file data. So in the URL, I can type in the get request and then hit the send button and it will load all the school's data for me. And then here I can set the format to XML and then save the file for later use. I then created a PostgreSQL database in the VM running Breeze Home locally. So if we go into the Breeze Home VM, we can go on to PG Admin, and here you can see the schools table. So I created the 13 columns, ID, zip code, institution name, street address, city, state, type, grade levels, phone, total students, latitude, longitude, and rank. I created the table with all the necessary columns in order to hold the data retrieved from great schools. Unfortunately, I later found out that this step was unnecessary. I will talk about this mistake later in the video. I then wrote a parser algorithm and parsed the XML data into the PostgreSQL database table. So if we right click, we can go to view data, view all, and now you can see we have all the school's data in PostgreSQL. Once this step was completed, I moved on to creating UML diagrams to map out the design of the user story. The reason I searched for the school's data before working on the diagrams was so I can model the diagrams based on the school's data that I would be receiving. I created all the diagrams for my user stories in Star UML. I will be sure to link a tutorial video of Star UML in the description below. So here you can see the use case diagram for user story 2352. The actor is the developer and the goal is to add schools functionality using the schools API that would be added to the Breeze Home system. I also created a class diagram to represent the data that would be held by the schools API. So here you can see the schools model. In the schools model we have ID, zip code, institution name, street address, city, 
state, type, grade levels, total students, latitude, longitude, and rank. This school's object was created based on the data that would be returned from the grade school's API. So as you can see, they have all the information that was also seen in the columns of the PostgreSQL schools table. Here we also have a sequence diagram. So essentially the school's API would allow developers to create school functionality in the front end that some users could then use. Once all the diagrams were finished, I had to learn how to add to the Breeze Homes root API. After some research, I learned that I had to create a schools app in Breeze Homes the Django backend. To create an app in Breeze Home, you must first locate the backend folder and start the virtual environment. To do so, you must first CD Breeze, Breeze API to Django. So open up the terminal and move to the backend API folder for Breeze Home. There we go. And then once we're in the backend folder, we can start the virtual environment using the command source, then slash bin slash activate. So as you can see now, we're in the virtual environment. And once in the virtual environment, you can create a new app using the command python manage.py start app and then you can name the app whatever you want to name it. I'm not going to do this because I already created my school's app. So let me just exit this. So now if we go in to our folder in the Breeze Home backend, Breeze API to Django, you can now see the school's folder added under it. You first want to configure your app in the apps.py folder. So when you create an app, these folders are automatically generated except for the serializers.py file. So the first thing you want to do is go into the apps.py file and configure your app. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to use this video in order to help you create an app. After apps.py, you're going to want to go into your models.py folder and create the model for the data you are using. So here I created a model based on the information I am receiving from grade schools. The reason I previously said that creating the table was unnecessary was because once you create a model in the Django, it automatically creates the table for you in the database. After you finish your models.py file, you want to create a serial, serializers.py file and set the model equal to the model you just created and fields equal to all so it can access all the data. So to do this, you want to type underscore underscore all underscore underscore. You then want to go into the views.py folder and create a view set. So once again, if you want to copy this code, you can go ahead and pause the video so you can see a template. So basically you want to set the serializer class to the serializer you just made, and you want to set the query set to objects.all. Once this is completed, you can then, you then have to add your app to the Breeze Home installed apps. So you go into Breeze, go into settings.py, and then if we scroll down a little, we can see installed apps. So you want to add your app like I did here. So you have in single quotation schools followed by a comma. After this, you want to go into the urls.py file and add your view set. So if we scroll down, we can see from schools.view, import school view set. And then once you do that, you can then register the app. So router.register our schools and then the school view set and then you can set a base name if you want. Once this is all done you can go to the command prompt and type in python manage.py run server to see the code being executed. So if we go into the terminal 
and we do we first have to go back in to the back end breeze home folder so breeze api to Django, and then once again we need to start the virtual environment so source then then activate and then we can run the server python manage.py run server so now if we go on to our browser and navigate to localhost 8000 we can see that the school's app was added to Breeze Home's API route. And if we click the data, give it some time to load, we can see that all the school's information from that database is now located in the Breeze Home API. Throughout this process, there are many communication documents that need to be filled out during each sprint. There are sprint planning at the beginning of each sprint, a sprint checkpoint meeting at the midpoint of each sprint, sprint retrospective and sprint review at the end of each sprint, and daily scrum meetings every day. These documents are facilitated by Aaron Fang, the mentor of Breeze Home. So as you can see, the days we need the documents, he sends out the document, and then all the developers can go in and write in their contributions. The reason for these documents is to keep in touch with the development team. These documents help the development team connect throughout the progression of the project to let each developer know what feature each person is working on and if anyone runs into similar problems and can help you out. After development comes the testing phase. Using an automating tested tool such as Selenium, you can test your feature to make sure there are no bugs. I will link a tutorial to Selenium in the description below. In the feature document, you can add all the work you completed on a specific user story. So in this document, you have the user story with its description and acceptance criteria that we found in Mingle. So here we have the description as well as the acceptance criteria. And we also have the use case described as well as the use case diagram we created in star UML the sequence diagram we created in star UML and the class diagram we created in star UML. After that is done, we have our unit testing. So here you can see I have my test case ID along with the description, the expected results, actual results, and whether the test passed or failed. And finally, we have a visual user guide, which shows a visual representation of the progress and finalized status of the user story we were working on. So if we scroll all the way down, we can see we now have the schools in the API root. And in the schools list, we have all the schools data. Once testing and documentation have been completed, you can now integrate and deploy to the production server. On the Breeze Home Wiki website, there's a very comprehensive tutorial for integration. I also have a detailed video on integration that will link in the description below along with the wiki. So these are some of the commands that you need to use when integrating git pull, git add, git commit, and git push. And basically what you want to do in integration is merging your local code with the current production code of Breeze Home. Be sure to check out the video in the link to see a full detailed description of integration. I hope this video helped you understand the scrum process I went through in completing user story 2352 adding the school's API to the Breeze Home system. Thank you for watching.